English etiquette, balancing titles and honorifics in conversations. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about a very important aspect of conversational English, using titles and honorifics. Specifically, we're going to address a common issue many learners face, overusing or underusing titles and honorifics. Understanding when to use them, and more importantly, when not to, is crucial for mastering polite, respectful, and natural English conversations. Before we delve into the common mistakes, it's essential to understand what titles and honorifics are. In English, we use titles and honorifics as a form of respect when addressing someone. These can include words like Mr., Mrs., Dr., Professor, and many more. The challenge is knowing how frequently to use these in conversation to maintain a balance between respect and familiarity. Let's start by identifying some common mistakes. Overusing titles and honorifics. One common mistake is overusing titles and honorifics. Repeatedly using titles in every sentence can make the conversation sound formal and distant, especially in casual or friendly settings. This can hinder the development of a closer relationship. Example, Mr. Smith, can I ask you something, Mr. Smith? I was wondering, Mr. Smith, if you could help me with this problem. Underusing titles and honorifics. The opposite mistake is underusing titles and honorifics. This can occur when we become too comfortable or try to create an informal atmosphere. However, it can also be perceived as disrespectful, especially in formal settings or when speaking to someone significantly older or in a higher position. Example. Hey John, I need your help with this problem. How do we strike the right balance? Here are some tips. 1. Observe the context. Whether you should use titles or not largely depends on the situation. If it's a formal setting or if the other person is older, in a higher position, or a stranger, it's safer to use titles. 2. Follow the lead. If you're unsure, take cues from the other person. If they use your first name, it's usually okay to use theirs too. 3. Ask for preference. If you are unsure, it's perfectly acceptable to ask how they would like to be addressed. And there we have it. We hope this video has helped clarify the correct use of titles and honorifics in English. Remember, it's all about respecting the other person while also maintaining the appropriate level of formality for the situation. Practice these tips, and you'll become more confident in using titles and honorifics effectively. See you in our next video, and keep practicing your English.